Hey guys, we'll do a quick update. But as you can see, I've got my cotton, I've got my glue, <laughs> just look at my little poker, there he is. And we're going some fencing. So I'll put it in the video, let some trains run. you just seen yeah two six two that was the first one I ever got from the um, day at the races set um, yeah a fair few years ago about that now um, about five years ago oh shit um, Yeah, so I got that about five years ago, so that was the first one I got. And um, I had it, ooh, I'm going to say three months. And um, I tried to weather it with a bit of powder I had. And it, it, we it weathered, but I got it everywhere and it wouldn't run. So I sent him off to uh, Graham Farish. Sent him back. And uh, yeah, it cost me. Ooh, it was about hundred pounds to get it fixed again. Um, yeah, and then I got a few others after that one um, off eBay. Uh, I got a class. 20, 27 are they? I had two of them. Uh, working lights on the front. But um, yeah, I, I was double O and then went to N, as you all know. And then went from N back to double O. So I sold some of the N gauge locos. Um, yeah, to buy me double O track and that's when I had it all running down the garden in the old shed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, and then that's when I decided, as you all know, I wanted to build my local old brick line, the old puppy line. As, uh, as I was telling you in one of the last videos, we, we as a young lad, we used to um, Play on the old line. It was a. It all been ripped up. It, the where we played was a woods. Um, a little woodland area called Broad Oak Woods. And um, yeah, so we used to go up and down there. That was our. Well, it, it started off as a BMX track. Just up through the woods. And then, um, we asked the nature people very politely. If there was any chance that we could take the motorbikes up there, um, you know, obviously they, they knew we rode the pushbikes up there. Um, they said as long as we stick to the same track, then we should be fine. So 
Yeah, you know, stop running from the bike. We were all up and running again now. So, um, yeah, so we asked them very politely if we could go up and down it on the motorbikes. This was probably hell 20 years ago, if not more. And um, you know, they, they, they didn't mind too much as long as, well, as long as we didn't damage anything, the uproot up, up trees and whatnot. And um, moved to the sides for. When dog walkers come past and cut the engines out, you know, pe people were okay with it, so that, that was where we used to go. And, um, yeah, so, you know, just, as I said, I used to play on it, so I've, I always wanted to do it. And, um, yeah, to, to do it in double O would have been, um, yeah, I'd have needed, I believe, a warehouse, so. As you all know, my plan was originally to go up into the attic. But um, yeah, there's only uh, I'm, I'm gonna say five foot of headroom, so that was a no go. So we built the shed. So yeah, so I'll um, I'll leave you there, guys, so I don't bore you. And stay tuned. We'll have some more trains running in a bit. See you later.